Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the truck. Good morning. Morning, Candace. Hi. And guess who else is with us? Y'all haven't seen this guy in a while. Yep. Pip Dog. Yep. <laughs> we are going garage sailing. Look, there is an RC plane right there. Thought that was kind of neat. It was flying a minute ago. But we are out here garage sailing. We're in Pensacola. Yeah, Pensacola Beach. We or took, actually, we're in Pensacola now, I guess. Yeah, we took a little quick trip out here for the weekend. Thought we'd hit some sales this morning. Yeah, so I, I don't know if I'm going to share the actual garage sale or not. But we'll at least show y'all after we buy the stuff what we got. Yep. Well, I think we're going, how many are we going to, Candace? Like 10. It's 11. 11? Yep. We're going uh, 77 miles. Round trip. Total. And you know what? Florida is just gorgeous, or this part anyway. Yeah. That's cold. is so nice. Every too like every street you turn on, there's a view of either the Gulf or the Bay or something. There's water yeah. everywhere. Yeah, we've got a nice spot too out on. Um, we're on Santa Rosa Island at Fort Pickens Campground, and it is just it's really nice. Yeah. Wait till you see the beaches. They're amazing here. Yeah. We'll show you. We'll show you a few little shots of that. We go back out to the island. We're on, uh, I think we're in Pensacola right now. Yeah, right now we're in Pensacola. Not Pensacola Beach, but Pensacola. So, yeah, let's go see what we can find and then we'll take a look around the beach a little bit when we get back. Right, we're headed back to the island over here. Long bridge, probably about, I don't know, four or five mile bridge. Something like that. How you doing, Pete? <laughs> Tired. Been a long morning, huh? About to go grab some lunch. Uh, I did just now think of. Oh, there's a couple things. Number one, that last deal that y'all saw on this channel with my guy, that deal was $3,200. And I saw, get, I actually saw somebody did guess exactly $3,200. Most of y'all guessed a lot lower. A lot of y'all guessed like $600, $1,000, $1,200. 2,500 they're just all all different numbers around in there and if that was at a um, if that was at like a garage sale or if I was buying directly from somebody that owned that then maybe some of those prices would be realistic but I bought I'm buying from a guy that's buying from a guy so having that extra layer in there of somebody that has to make money means that I have to pay I have to pay a little bit extra so which I'm, I'm still pretty happy with um, with the way that deal turned out Candace you listed how much you li um, we just, just like five I listed five things and it was over a thousand dollars five figures yeah no it was the best ones yeah. probably yeah. probably we think we don't know for sure yeah. but uh, she yeah she listed a few she listed like five figures for around a, no was it was it a thousand or thirteen hundred or something I said over a thousand oh okay it was like I think it was like 1100 okay and then the same day I listed a bunch of those um, pillow sham things and yes those will be long tail they will yeah. <laughs> I'm never gonna put them on sale though they're thirty bucks thirty bucks plus shipping and we'll wait yeah because they don't take up much room. So why not? But uh, I also had a question in a v in the comments on a video recently. Um, somebody said, "How do you get away with like cutting boxes, resizing boxes, franken boxing?" Um, they said that their post office won't take those kind of boxes if they've resized, even if they're flat, even if they're not flat rate. And all I could tell you is that uh, you're going to have to get along with your post office. Go, go to a different post office. Or, or go to a different post office. Yeah. yeah. True. Or try not going to the post office. Because uh, the clerks, I've always found the clerks in the post office, it doesn't matter if they're right or they're wrong. Um, you have to get the package past them. <laughs> so even if they're wrong. I mean, you can argue with them or talk to the postmaster or whatever, you know, try that, I guess. Um, but ultimately, maybe it'd be easier just to pack it the way they're asking or 
um, maybe get a pickup done because I promise you your carrier will not care I've never had any carrier ask question any of any of the boxes or packing or anything and they don't come back either because that'll take like if that lobby person if they do see it at the if they see it come in then they're not going to send it back because it's more it's less trouble to just send it on its way than to send it back or something so yeah um i i don't know they're wrong about that about resizing the boxes they are wrong check out the sign oh yeah pensacola beach sign yeah i love that sign so the last bridge we on we're on went from pensacola to gulf breeze and now we're going from Gulf Breeze to Santa Rosa Island on another bridge. Yep. Santa Rosa Island bridge up here. We're going to grab some lunch at Shaggy's because um, supposedly they're dog friendly. So we'll see. Yeah, Pippi can eat there. Get somewhere nice and pull over and show you all the stuff we got because we're done garage sailing. Yep. But yeah, it is just, the weather is perfect. It's there's, 80. There's the island. We're way down there. Yeah, we're way at the end. You can't even see any buildings or anything. Yeah, because it's state, it's um, national sea seashore. There's no development on the, that end of the island except for the campground, the campground and Fort Pickens. Yeah. So Fort Pickens is at the very end tip to protect. It was to protect the bay. It's awesome because there's like miles of beach with nobody there. Yep. Down there, which is really cool. And then you, if you want your more commercialized restaurants and gift shops, and if you need a place to stay, they have all this stuff up here too. So, yeah. which this is called Pensacola Beach right here, right? Yeah, it's Santa Rosa Island, but they call it Pensacola Beach because this is the the that um, Gulf side is on the other side of the island where this is all bay. So, yep. Going to Shaggy's. I, we don't. We bill you with toll by plate. So I guess we don't have to pay that. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. locals. It says drive through. Don't stop. So I guess visitors don't have to pay. This is the drive back to our campground and we have the gulf on that side we got the bay over here and no condos no hotels nothing it's just beach no just beaches so nice beautiful out here you see on the on the bay side every now and then you see a boat over there and people just kind of park their boat and chill for the day yep private beach i don't know this is uh to me this these beaches here kind of unbeatable almost I don't know maybe maybe somewhere it's nicer but these are really nice so these these dunes without the foliage on them um, Hurricane Ida I guess the surge um, had the roads covered in sand so they brought in um, tractors from the Smoky Mountain area to clear the roads and they deposit the sand back over there yeah and big old piles yep. I imagine the water must have walked this is probably all underwater, huh? Yeah, there was two areas of the road that were have been washed away. They have a temporary thing over them. So um, we're gonna show y'all. I promise we're gonna show y'all the stuff we bought. <laughs> this trip, this is not like really a business trip. We didn't plan on it. We just decided to go last night. We decided, hey, let's go see the sales here. Yeah. Well, actually, Candace. What 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 day was that? Were you? What day was that? Was that Monday? Sunday. It was so it was last Sunday. Candace's like, let's go to Pensacola. I'm like, okay. <laughs> she booked it and here we are. So. Here, up here is where the road um, got kind of washed away. You see it's buckled here. Yeah. And then across the whole road coming up. There's there's some people out there with their dog on the bay side. The bay side has a nice little beach too. Yeah. It's just calmer. Yep. The water is all clean, the sand is all white. Yeah. But they put patches on the road. Like, I'm, I'm telling Candace yesterday, like, I think the water probably ran 
like came under the road and then the road just collapsed. Yeah. So they put this stuff down, whatever that is. It works. They had to put something fairly substantial because there's a lot of big, uh, big class A motorhomes and stuff coming through here. So they can't just put a piece of plywood or something out there. All right, we'll come, we'll come back in a little bit. Pit, pit dog is tired. <laughs> yeah, I think he had fun, we think. It's been a day for him. Yeah, long day, huh? All right, gang, we are parked over by this battery thing, whatever this is. And this is a picnic area too. Yeah. It's kind of nice because there's like a breeze coming from the bay. It's actually coming through right here. So. Yeah, and we, we have a little shade here. That's why we came to this spot. All right, so let's take a look at all the stuff we got. Um, we just kind of tossed it in here. Haven't looked at it again. So this is a book set. It's like, uh, My Name is America. It's like, it tries to tell kind of the story of America, I guess through some novels of these kids, different kids. And it was sealed, paid $2 for this. And then that lady that we bought this from, I asked her if she had video games. And she said, yeah, I have a... At first she told me she had a Sega Saturn. Um, and she went in and got it. And then she came back out with this, though, which is a Dreamcast. This Dreamcast console is pretty dirty. So is the controller. Mm -hmm. uh, it does have a memory card with it. If that is the... I don't know if that goes with it or not. No. See, this is some kind of VMU or something. I don't really know that much about Dreamcast, honestly. But then it came, came with the cables and stuff. So I think we have everything we need to play it. But then it also came with Grandia 2, which is about a $50 game complete. And this is actually complete it's got the manual and the disc were in good condition like i might i don't think i even need to clean them which is pretty pretty amazing since the console was so dirty so would you pay for that uh 20 bucks pay 20 for that yeah the discs are actually clean so yeah uh this is worth 50 by itself plus them whatever the console is worth I don't know what the books are worth and look those up. But yeah, I got this stud sensor. I like keeping these around just because a lot of times I'll lose them. Like the batteries are even good in it. So and then Candace picked this out. This is uh Pyrex dinnerware. Um but yeah, there's a ton of pieces, plates, bowls, there's two big serving bowls. Yeah, we don't want to take them out too much. Yep. But I paid five dollars for the box. Five dollars for the whole box. What do you think the box is worth? Maybe a hundred. Total? Uh, yeah. It might be more. I don't know. I just kind of briefly looked up some solds on some on dinner plates. What did I say? It was forty dollars for six dinner plates. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So maybe so, somewhere around a hundred bucks. Yep. And we don't know if we're gonna part them out or, or just do sell one, them all yeah. together or what. Yeah. Um, I bought these clamps for me. For paid a dollar for the three. Uh, paid a dollar for this. This is a plug-in smart switch. You can, basically, you can control that outlet with um, your phone. You plug this in, and you get an outlet you can remote control. I thought that would possibly come in handy at some point. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is an effects pedal or effects little thing not a it's not a pedal is it no it's got um little dials heavy metal headphone guitar amp so yeah different effects or something like that so donner i think i paid two dollars for this headphone guitar amp usb charging okay and it does have the little charger thing there and then paid i think two or three for this this is um, a lock set. Like you, this mounts on the door and it's a jig to. Yeah. You can drill out for um, dead bolts and whatnot. Yeah. No, yeah, I thought that was actually pretty cool. It's got the end jig too. See, look. For 
cutting out the end. Yep. So, anyway, that's for me too. <laughs> I think that was, no, it was three. I did pay the three. Yeah. Okay, also for me. For these, right? Yeah, $2 for the jack stands. What? They're kind of heavy. Messed up the door. The oh, rail, like, Okay. Mess. Oh, well. Pay two dollars a piece for jack stands. Those are for me too. That's man, I've never bought so much stuff to keep for myself. Okay, um, more stuff for me <laughs> or for us. We've got this for the camper. Uh, oh no, I'm selling this. This is a Sony power supply of some sort. This is an HP power supply of some sort. And then this is just an extension cord which we're gonna keep for the camper. So this is going for the camper. This is going for sale. I paid a buck for the four things there. Um, man, we're keeping a lot of stuff this time, huh? I'll show them this real quick. Okay. This is an anchor for an umbrella, and we actually needed one. Yeah, we had an umbrella for the beach, but there's no spike on the end, and we, so we needed an anchor to put it in the sand. Yeah, so, so this is perfect. You screw this in. <laughs> Really? Is that really <laughs> something that needs to be done out here? All right. So anyway, you screw this in and then uh, put your umbrella pole in here and screw that down to tighten it. But yep. look, it's really, it Heavy looks pretty cool. One, yeah. Two bucks. It was actually with an umbrella at that garage sale. And um, I asked if they would sell it separately and she did. So that saved us a trip to Walmart. All right, this whole box was $10. 10 bucks for the box. I, bought, I got a couple. What is of, that? That's a bad bar. Oh, uh, okay. I've heard of that. And it's branded, so I took it. I don't know. I mean, I took a chance on that. And this is Disney Store Pinocchio. That, that Pinocchio looks a little, rough, a little bit rough. He's not, not horrible. Not bad. I mean, that's Look. like fuzz. I know. And then he's got. It'll clean up. Okay. Yeah, it's just, that's just fuzz. Yeah. All there's right. no stains. It's just well, there's a little bitty, but. All right. So that got you a little sailboat here. Yeah, pond yacht or pond. The courageous i don't know who makes this one i actually have one i actually have a big one for sale right now that hadn't sold yet um i got that because it looked like it had never been used yeah it looks brand new huh? yeah huh. we'll sell it or keep it one or two whichever one and then three of these star wars uh micro machines did you sets. look the, well the micro machines are usually decent yeah especially the little play sets so yeah. We'll that see. ain't bad for a ten dollar box huh? no happy with that okay just a few more things i guess uh y'all saw that box where we put all the stuff in there mm -hmm. um got that for sarah right yep. daughter, older sarah daughter. has a bearded dragon this is a good nice size water dish it's did a, she need one the one she has is like tiny and okay. her, her dragon's like this long so yeah for two mm. bucks i mean that's a good nice heavy mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff where if you bought that at the at the store, it might charge you twenty five or something. Who knows? Yeah. Yep. So you can get really good deals on stuff like that. Um, and then bought this. I don't think this is like awesome or anything, but I paid twenty dollars for. I think it's. Was that? Emergency alert. Emergency alert for what? It's a blue alert for Florida. Is that a um, a kid missing or something like that? Looks like an adult. Yeah. Is it did did Pippin call call? Do not approach this guy. He's suspected of killing a Florida law enforcement officer. Where's he at? He was last seen in the U.S. Highway 301 and Sandy Ford Road in Callahan, wherever that is. Does that sound like anywhere around us? You want to show him? <laughs> huh? You want to show him? I don't care. Let's see. What's this? Patrick McDowell. Florida Blue Alert. Sandy Ford Road. Do not approach. Death before dishonor. Dow's a subject of a Florida killing of Florida. Okay. All right. Be on the lookout. Yep. All right. Um, anyways, paid twenty dollars for this box of games, and if it's a lot up thing, that's cool. But 
Um, it's mostly PS3. And one Xbox One. Yeah, I have Witcher 3 here. We got some Assassin's Creed games for PS3. Call of Duty. Aliens. Yeah, I, I think, like... They look like decent games. Well, I, I, they're okay games, but I think they're going to make a lot of sense to lot up because they're kind of in the same genre, you yeah. know? I can make maybe two or three lots if I need to. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. This this might be worth a little something. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I thought definitely worth it for uh, 20 bucks. Okay, um... Tennis rackets with a bag. Nice little oh, tennis bag. Yeah. Let's see. I paid ten dollars for uh, for everything here. This I think they're decent. This is a hyper carbon. This has some kind of little fancy sticker on it. So. Yeah, I, the way they're constructed, I think they're pretty decent. I don't know if they're like awesome or anything. But I would even be willing to sell this all together. Now, one thing, uh, the grips, definitely. Whoever buys them are going to replace the grips. But, uh, yeah, heck, I might just put them together. I don't know. Yeah, yeah paid $10 for all that. This is another shipping nightmare probably for you. Nah, it's you not. Don't think so? I'll be all right. Um, yeah, I saw this little house, and I, I didn't know. It looked like it may be like Calico Critters or something. It's Little Woodsies, something like that. So I looked it up, um, sell for about 40 bucks. I paid four. So, yeah, yeah I, it's not the best thing. Like that, that would probably be something I, you could take or leave. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind, like I'll probably spend, it'll probably take me 20, 30 minutes to pack it. Mm -hmm. And we'll make, we'll net 30 bucks on it. Yeah. So it's fine, it's good. Like, as long then, as it doesn't take too long to sell. Sorry. Back there are free sheets. <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know, some sheets. So They were yeah. free there for us. Yeah. So that's everything. And you see right there, we have some beach chairs. And we have a beach umbrella, I think. Suppose, oh, yeah. I think over here, yeah. we have a beach umbrella. And we're about to go hit the beach. Yep. <laughs> so thanks a bunch for watching. Um, we'll see y'all again pretty soon. We'll get home at some point and get all this stuff listed yeah so thanks for watching thanks for joining us and we will see y'all again soon ish bye bye y'all